I've been working on inchies. I I'm going to post a video uh, along with this on how I did this little inchy book and I'm calling them inchy books because I did do a little research and found that there are there is such a thing um, I didn't see a tutorial or anything I just kind of looked at pictures and winged it so that is uh, what this says it says beehive and then it says when in doubt wing it and what you have is basically two twinchies. So these are two by two squares, the covers. And then inside you have two inchies. And an inchy is basically just a one by one square piece of artwork. You can put anything on it that you want. Um, and I, let's see, I did preface the other video with some inspiration. And I'm just going to keep it short. And basically anything you want to do if you're working on like look I made this one Kiwi hears me talking um, this one's based off of the watercolor piece that I just did for my um, my monthly art journal pages that we've been doing for 2017 so I just cut twinchies three twinchies so two by two squares and I watercolored them so I did the cover with all the flowers similar to that page and then on the inside I made an inchy with one flower from the design well this one has two flowers and I put the date I put my name in the date and then you just connect it all up with um, jump rings so it's super simple and they're fun because inchies are so here well here's another one I did with a, a I did this with a stamp set so I stamped it out and it says good day sunshine on there and then you open it up and there's two little inches there with some with some of the stamps from the set and these are um, the background is actually cut from jelly prints and the back is a jelly print as well and then this one I used um, chipboard cover so these two I use chipboard and then covered the chipboard with paper and this is uh, again jelly pr prints that I used. I just cut them up and used papers that I thought kind of the, the yellow one really looked kind of beehivey so I put that um, but you know and then I just put blue because it had some yellow and it's like a, uh, a sky but this one is from the same or similar stamp set and I did use uh, book pages this time. These were book pages that I had jelly printed on dictionary pages actually. And so it was just a light blue so it kind of matched because I watercolored the cover. I embossed this uh, little design and I just found the word inspire in my little collection of words and then this is two pieces of chipboard and two little inchies and I stamped hearts and I regretted doing that but I should have just left it plain but then you have your little inchy books so I'm gonna um, then these are I just did these and ink tense pencils work really well this I just messed it up because I was using um, jelly my gel roll pens but I'll do more of these you can do Zentangles I think the next i um, gonna do some mixed media inchies and I'm going to do some Zentangle inchies and make a Zentangle book and, an, and a mixed media book. But this little guy is what I'm going to do the tutorial on. Um, so I hope you like these and sit tight because this is coming up. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have, uh, I went and got some of my jelly prints that were also you know they didn't look so good in their whole big piece but when you cut them down into little pieces you get these cute little that's the thing when you cut them apart you don't you never know what you're gonna get so what I've come up with I love these blue with the little arrow parts on it um, then this is I cut apart the uh, that Mod Podge we just did with the um, what was it uh, a napkin and look at these these are adorable so I have decided this is the one I'm going to create right now because I had a few ideas. I have this fairyland 
one, and I got these from printables, the words. <clears throat> but I'm going to use a stamp. So I have this big B stamp. It's a Michaels dollar stamp. And I've stamped it a couple times on the Blick tissue paper, which I got from Dick Blick. That's why I say Blick tissue paper. But you can pr probably do it on your um, wax paper, the, this stuff, and it'll work fine. Um, but I have the Blick. That's why I want to use it. I don't. I never use what I buy, so that's why I'm trying to do that. And I've chosen these. Um, let me go in and make sure I'm in the shot. I've chosen these for my covers. So basically, we're going to make two two by two pieces that are going to make a little book. Now you have a cover, so you can make that a little bigger. But then inside, you're going to put your inches. And then on the back, I'm just going to put another cover. So I'm going to go ahead and glue, and then I'll show you what I've decided. I'm just basing this whole piece is going to be based on that um, B stamp. And I had this, uh, well, I cut it apart now, but there was a little beehive. It was, uh, <clears throat> it was on one of my printables. And I don't remember which where it came from, but guys, use what you have. So yours isn't going to be exactly like mine. I mean, if you have a little bee, you could you can draw a beehive. Anyway, so I'm using my quick dry, my Scotch quick dry adhesive. Haven't used it in so long. I have not, I haven't been paper crafting, as you know, if you watch my videos. So it's fun to get out the old supplies and um, I should probably have put it on the paper. I like to put it on the edge of the paper so that when it squeezes out it definitely goes out to the edge and I love the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive and I think they've changed the name of it now. I think it's something different but this is the Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. I don't know. My Michaels doesn't have Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive anymore. It's something different. So it squishes out to the edges. And um, I hope these chipboard, now I'm using chipboard covers, but I would think that you could probably just glue this paper back to back. But I just thought I'd use these. I had these little chipboard pieces cut already because I... Um, I was doing, I was making little tiles for um, a mixed media mosaic and so I had them already cut so I'm just using it because I had it. You don't need that much glue. So this is going to be the covers but it's also going to be like the frame for the, um, the inchy on the inside. So the inchy is going to get glued to this side actually, the yellow side. Um, so actually no, to the blue side, I'm sorry. This is what the inchy is going to get glued to. So the inchy, then I cut two inch size, we'll go in a little, two inch size pieces of the same as the cover and I'll do that and then I'll outline it with um, my black pen and stuff like that. So I have half a B here and half a B here and this B I stamped on paper, just regular um, printer paper. This is the big B that's going to go on the front cover. He's on the Blick um, tissue paper. And then this is part of a, a downloadable that I had. It says Beehive and there's a little Beehive. So I'm going to make one of the inches with that. And this one says when in doubt wing it. And I just thought that was kind of, it played into the this piece as well. So this is going to be the inside. So I'll put two inches there and then on my cover I'm just going to glue, I'm going to use Mod Podge. I just want to make sure this is dry. I'm running out of baby wipes. And I'll probably put a little paint around the edges to just uh, and trim it a little if it's if the paper was a little bit bigger or smaller, um, well not smaller. Alright, so I'm going to Mod Podge my B onto the front. Let's see which side I like. I think 
I like it like that. But I'm going to use my podge to do this because it's meant for it. I'm going to grab a little kind of smaller brush that um, is easier to work with. And because this is tissue paper, uh, I want to be gentle again. So I'm just going to put some Mod Podge in the center and pick up my piece. Try to center them as best as I can. And that's it. But I'll go all over the whole piece with the Mod Podge because it gives it a nice um, finish. This is actually a matte finish, but I like it. It gives it a little finish. We'll set that aside to dry. Actually, I'm going to add the beehive words on there too. Um, probably, eh, these are these are made of paper, so I'll put a little Mod Podge on the bottom of them. I'm going to leave room for, we're going to punch holes in this, and I'm going to use my Crop-A-Dile. I have another, one of my very first paper crafting tools that I ever had, and it punches holes. It's like a hole punch, but you can go through thicker paper with it. But I'll get that out, because I have to look for the rings, because I am going to look for rings. Like, they look like they're just jump rings in the picture, and remember, I'm doing this based off of, uh, a piece by, uh, it had her name on here. Let me see what it says. It says Little Hearts Mini Books by Vicki Kremerer. Kremerer. So, um, and she has three little jump rings, and well, they're bigger, they're big jump rings. So, all right, that's my cover right now. I'm going to make my inchies and we'll glue these, at, I'll glue these off camera. But I'm going to use these little guys because I thought they kind of looked hive <laughs> And I don't know if I actually need to put this, yeah I am, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the beehive since I named it beehive. We're going to Mod Podge that on here. And I could just be using the Scotch Quick Dry as well, I'm pretty sure. I mean, they're both adhesives. So, don't worry about it. Use what you have. You know that's what I've been telling you guys. And I'm positioning this a little bit to the right. Because I'm going to put my B over here on top of it. And just up against the edge there. I just want to move it a little bit and you can sometimes it's not moving oh well close enough so he's kind of over the hive there was no glue behind that wing hurry hurry no there you go so he's kind of over the hive and then I'm going to put the words let's see Oh no, I messed it up. I didn't want it to be like this. I wanted this one on this side. But I guess I couldn't have done that. Because I want to put when in doubt, wing it. I could put when in, no, when in doubt. All right, let's just put him on here. And I'd actually like to color him in. So I'm going to see how I'm going to do that. Well, just a little bit, because this one's on paper. And actually, wait a minute, because I could use... The other half of him and it would look a little more cohesive but I think I want it to be different we'll just do it different listen I can take artistic what privilege I don't know if it's called that uh, but you want to get this centered and then I'm gonna put these words when in doubt, wing it. So when in doubt, wing it. I could put wing it over there. I think I will. So when in doubt, we'll go over here. I'll, I'll cut them apart.
should, I should have my tweezers to do this. I want it lower. Hopefully I'm in the shot. I know I'm not zoomed in and hey, inches are teensy tiny, so <laughs> when in doubt, it's going to go right over his foot. And then we'll put wing it. Where should I put wing it? Up top or? We'll see. I'll try it a couple places. It could go. Kiwi, shush it. I think up top. Yep. That's where I'm putting it. Shh, what's the matter? You just want to tell everyone something? Wing it. that's our inchies and I'm gonna do a little coloring but they have to dry here's the cover I'm gonna do some uh, oops I'm not in the shot sorry put this in my water so these are my inchies this is my cover <clears throat> I have to glue this together so I'll be right back all right I got uh, I had these size, this size uh, jump rings, and I think it's going to work. Um, I would prefer for this piece, like maybe, um, what is this, like a brass, not brass, one of those colors, like an antique brass or something. But I'm going to use these, and I can always change them out, because I was going to go over to Joann's and have a look at what they had, but I knew I had something that would be big enough, so... Before we do any of that, and I got my crocodile. This is a crocodile. Uh, you guys, you know what this is. Ugh, it's a hole punch, so I'll probably use the smaller hole punch, the one eighth inch side, instead of the three sixteenths. It, it just is a hole punch, but it goes through um, thicker paper. But before we do, I want to finish this up. I got some brown paint out. And I was debating, do I want brown or black? I think black. Um, so I'm going to go around the edges just using my finger, uh, probably on just the cover. Oh, let me put it on here. Just the cover. And you could use a marker. You could just use your Tim Holtz Distress Inks, but I want it to go in that little um, gap that was there because we covered the chipboard. So I'm putting paint and I'm kind of letting it go down in between the paper and a little bit up onto the top and bottom. So I'm going to do that, but I think for the inchy I will just use black distress ink. Um, or black ink or paint, it's fine, either way, whatever you have just to give it a border, an edge, to separate it from the background. Now I'm just making sure the front looks kind of even. Oh, and it's inside too, so. You know what though, I'm gonna let it dry though. Really just focus on the front. And this would be the back. So before I do that, well, I got a finger full, so I might as well. I was gonna say, I don't have to do this on camera. I could just, um, plus I'm probably not in the shot. Um, I can show you what I'm gonna do for my inchies. I think I'm just going to use black distress ink. So it's called black soot. And I haven't used this in so long. I have so many different thingies, but I don't have stick them on there. Uh, there we go. Got it. It has Velcro, and that one didn't have any Velcro on it. 
hopefully these aren't it's not dried out but I just want to put a little um, around the edge of the inches to kind of just frame it see look look at the difference can you see It's just subtle it's not real dark but I'm gonna I'm gonna use my black pen too and uh, go around the words for sure uh, maybe put some stickles on here all right so that's good um, Yeah, let me get my black pen out and I use a bunch of different stuff but these are my well I got my white jelly roll and my uniball vision fine point and I'm gonna go around the words so just when in doubt and this one wing it whoops and you can always so I, because it's um what did we do we um decoupaged it it has that coating so you can get your ink off if you mess up so wing it and then definitely going to color this be a little bit and this one too, but what could, what should I use? And I think I want to go around the edge. Like make a border. Can you see what I'm doing? Guess what? I'm winging it. When in doubt, wing it. I don't really want to go over the B. So it has a little frame. Definitely put some stickles on the um, B's wings. But what do I want to do with my B? I want them to be yellow. I'm going to use my Posca, I think, my Posca paint pens. I have a yellow. I think I'm just going to use paint, but I don't know what how it's going to work with the because I put the um, Mod Podge on there. But just on here, I'm just going to add a little yellow. Um, I could do it on here too. And I could do it on the front. Oops, I got black paint on me. Just a little yellow paint, just to bring them out a little bit. Um, I want to go around the words on the top too, which it's not dry, so I should probably give it a sec, but it says beehive. And Definitely some stickles. What else should I do for? I could put a little bit of brown, but I don't know. It might be too dark on the um, the hive right here. And let's see, maybe just one side, just to make it look like it's rounded. So just in the shaded bits. And stickles. I love stickles. So I have this is called Stardust. So I'm gonna have to let this dry before I um we'll leave it to the end. No, I'm gonna do it because then no I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Um 
but I want to glue this to the inside of here. So I'm going to go ahead and go away and um, I'll put the stickles on actually. Let everything dry and then we'll come back and assemble it because it's pretty much done. And you can apply stickles with a brush if you just squirt it out and then put it on with a brush, but I'm just applying it with the nozzle on the wing, just the wing. So even on this guy, since the wing is it, wing it, right? So we got that. I'm going to do something to his eyes. I think I'm going to do, um, I think I might use um, my glaze pen. I'm going to put a little on his legs too. Because I love bees. I think they're awesome creatures. I like most creatures. And even insects. You know? Um, oh my gosh, stickles just is everything, isn't it? Look at it. Oh man, it's so cool. I have the black glaze pen that, it's like glaze pens by Sakura, these, the jelly roll pens, but the glaze kind of has a raised up, let me see if this is a glaze. Yeah, this is the glaze. So basically, here, let me put this back. When you use this, Sorry right, guys, I'm having trouble staying in the shot today. Oop. It has, when it dry, it's shiny. It's not real black black. But it has, it, it's a glaze like it says. So it has a raised, well it's not showing up like that on this deli paper. But anyway, I think I'm going to do his little eyes with this. I don't know if, if B's eyes are black or red. Maybe I'll do a dot of red. I'll do his head black. The glaze pen. And then I'll do his eyes. Let's see if I have I have like a red glaze pen. And again, it's I never use this stuff, so I'm so happy when I can break it out and use it. I should probably let the black dry before I go in with this because I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think flies have red eyes. Not bees, but that's cool. All right. Um I gotta go away. I'm gonna finish this cover, the back cover, and then I'll go away and let everything dry and come back and assemble it. All right, everything's dry. I went out for a bit and came back. So we got this is the inside. Let me check this though. I just wanted to make sure it didn't say anything. I think I want that to be on top. Um, all right, I'll zoom in. I'm just, I think, I'm just going to adhere with the regular glue. Um, or I could Mod Podge it because then it would seal it. I think I'm going to use glue though because this is a little bit wonky from all the other. You know, I think I'm going to use the glue. As long as you put the glue on close to the edges, and you know what, I have, I love my little tweezers. When I used to do this type of stuff, hi Kiwi, you can just grab it with your tweezers and figure out where you want to put it in the center and then give it a press. And I'll just use this and just wipe the excess away. 
Oh, there's a lot. We'll do the same thing to this one. And I'm going to come back with another video because I have an idea for another one of these little books. I actually went to Michael's real quick because I have a couple of um, jump rings that I think would work. So I probably didn't need to go to Michael's. But I wanted to see... Um, what uh, you know why I'm not putting Mod Podge too because this will all run I use the gel pen on the B so you can see uh, actually the glaze pen and I gave him a red eye it says when in doubt wing it and you can see the little burp I mean the B and the B skep all right, so then we're just going to put them back to back and we're going to put, um, I could probably do more to the cover, but I think it looks good like that. But these are the jump rings that I had and these were really hard to open. I have my, um, my beading tools here, so let's see if I can get this open. I'm going to hold it with this, no, I'll hold it with this one. So when you open a jump ring, you, you just kind of twist like that. All right, I can do it with my tools. So they would have worked, but then I just went to AC Moore. I'm sorry, no, Michael's. And this is a Tim Holtz mini book rings. And I thought I might do some ATCs and make a little ATC book with these, which I just thought they were so cute. They're just book rings or, um, oh, this is taped. And I love that they're in all the metal colors. So I love them. They're so cool. So I would probably use three. I think you get six of each color. You get six silver, six gold, and six like this color. Oh, sorry. I'm not looking at what I'm doing. And then we could use these to make a little ATC book. I, I just like them. But then these are the, um, and then I got this too, the ideology. These are stickers, clipping stickers. Clippings stickers. I hadn't seen these before. These are by Tim Holtz, and there's four sheets worth, worth of them, and they say a lot of cool things. So I thought these could just inspire an ATC. Um, all right, so then where are the, oh, so then I just got this pack. This is by Bead Landing. And it has three different size jump rings, or I'm sorry, yeah, jump rings. Because I didn't know which size would be best. Now these are the ones I had. They're actually even smaller than the middle size. And then I have this big size. So I just wasn't sure. I'm going to pull off the big and the medium. But first we have to make our holes. So I'm going to grab my crocodile. And... Just um, eyeball it. I'm going to put three holes in here. Uh, and we want them to be lined up, right? So I'm going to go through one at a time. And then I will um, put a little mark on the bottom one so that I know. So you can kind of see where you're punching. One. See, I'm just eyeballing it. All right. And then I will just make a little mark. It's a little wonky. Um, oh, and make sure I'm punching it on the right side right there. I'm just going to stick a pen down or a pencil something. Hopefully it'll reach. Now I can see <clears throat> Oh, 
I can actually look through this little hole right here and see the um, mark I made so that's cool and it's not going to be perfect but it'll be great don't worry all right let's see I know you're not worried <laughs> I haven't used my crop it out in forever. All right, so now we have, I don't know, I think I wanna go for, I like the color of these. That's a high polish and this is just more of an antique-y. Let's see if I can, I'm gonna use my, I gotta need my, my tools here. I think the medium of this will be fine. When you open a jump ring, you don't pull it apart, you twist it. I think that's a good size. I like that. I need three of them. So I'm going to make, a, I'm going to come back with another video because I'm going to do some embossing and coloring and make another one of these. Got all the stuff out, why not, right? I think my Joann's, I didn't, Joann's is further away from me. It's not that far, but um, I was meeting Joe. We were going to walk the dog, and um, <clears throat> so I didn't want to take too long, so I just went to Michael's, but look how cute that looks with the three jump rings. And then you open it up, and there's your ATCs. And I could um, take the pen. Well, now I can't find it. And outline around it. I don't know if I need to. You could doodle, you could write, you could, you know, you could stamp around the outside of here. We could have done a lot more to the inside. I could have stamped words, but I like it. So that's my little B one. And I think I will do a couple more. All right. So have fun. Make some inchies. And thanks for watching.